we are going to optimize the area of this window. And this window is made up of two different sections. The top section is a semicircle, so we're going to call this area one. And the bottom section is a rectangle. We're going to call that guy area two. So the total area is equal to area one plus area two. As I reread that first sentence, it says that the semicircle on top has a diameter that is equal to the width. We can instead say that the width is equal to two times the radius. You can leave the diameter if you want. We also need a length in here. So I've got a length right here. Let's go ahead and put these two areas together. I'm going to start with the area of the semicircle in green. So the area of that semicircle, that's going to be one half the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And then the area of the square is going to be length times width. So length times width. Now I've got way too many variables in here. I've got an R, an L, and a W, and I just want a single variable. I can put everything here in terms of R. So starting with that W, I know that W is equal to 2R, and I can also get to L in terms of R using the only thing I haven't used yet, and that's the parameter. To get the parameter, I need to go all the way around the three sides of my window and around the semicircle. So I know that my perimeter is equal to two lengths and one width. So two lengths plus one width plus half of the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is two pi r. Now this is equal to 32. So as I put the 32 in here, I've got 32 is equal to two L. L is what we're gonna be solving for. W is equal to two r, so plus two r. Plus, I can cancel these twos and I get pi times r. Now I can go ahead and solve for L. I'm going to bring my two terms, that 2r and pi r, to the other side. So 32 minus 2r minus pi r is equal to 2L. And all I've got to do to solve for L now is to divide everybody by a 2. So I end up with L is equal to this fraction that I've got here. Let's go ahead and simplify it though. I have 32 divided by 2, that's going to be 16, minus 2R divided by 2 is a single R, minus pi r divided by two, and that's gonna be minus pi r divided by two. So now I've got L in terms of r, and I can write my w in terms of r as well. Let me go ahead and move some of this information up out of the way, and we can put this together. Now we're ready to put our total area together in terms of a single variable, which means that our next step is going to be to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. That's the optimizing part. But first, let's go ahead and go back to that area. So my area is equal to the area of the semicircle plus the area of that rectangle. The area of the semicircles was one half pi r squared, and the area of the rectangle was a length times a width. Well, putting my areas together, the area is equal to still that 1 half pi r squared plus length times width. Here's my length. So I can go ahead and replace length for 16 minus r minus pi r divided by 2 times my width, but I was given that my width was equal to the diameter, which is equal to two times the radius. So I can write that now as two times the radius. Notice how I've got a single variable now on the right-hand side of my equation. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and then take the derivative, set it equal to zero. So doing a little bit of cleanup, I've got a one-half, still that one-half pi r squared. I'm going to distribute my 2r through to all three of my terms. So 2r times the 16 is going to be plus 32r. 2r times the negative r is going to be negative 2r squared. And then finally, 2r times the negative pi r over 2. I can cancel my 2 and I end up with an r squared, so minus pi r squared. 
So now I've got my area all in terms of R and it happens to be a quadratic. I know that the maximum value for that quadratic is going to be that vertex. So I wanna take the derivative next. So A prime, taking that derivative with respect to R is equal to, I'm gonna take the power rule here, bringing the two out in front. I'll write down what I've done, but there's a lot of simplifying that I can do as well. So two times pi over two times R, plus the derivative of 32R is just 32. I'm gonna bring the next two out in front, just some really nice power rules. So that's gonna be a 4R. Bring my next two out in front, and this is minus a two pi R. I can cancel these twos, and I'm ready for the optimized part. I want where the derivative or the slope of the tangent line is equal to zero. So zero is equal to pi R plus 32, minus 4r minus 2 pi r. Now our goal is to solve for r, and we notice that we've got r in a couple of different terms. We've got an r here, here, and here. I'm gonna gather those and bring those to the other side of the equation and leave the 32. We also have some like terms that we can combine as well. So let's bring all three of those over. That becomes a negative pi r plus 4r plus 2 pi r, and I'm left with a 32 on the other side. Now I wanna combine some like terms. I've got negative 1 pi r plus 2 pi r. If I combine these two terms, I end up with a pi r plus 4r is equal to 32. Now we're solving for r. r is in two of these terms, so I'm gonna factor out that r, which you can think of as dividing by r and then recording that out in front. Okay, when I divide the r out, I get pi from the first term, and I get four from the second term, so plus four is equal to 32. All I've got left to do is to divide both sides by that pi plus four, pi plus four, and we have our value for r. I'm gonna leave it as an exact value. You could certainly put this into your calculator right now, but I've got more work to do, not a lot. I've got my radius, but what I really needed was the area. So I've got one more step to do. So this was my window here. I'm just kind of roughly drawing it there. And I had an equation for my area. Let's go ahead and find it and then plug in R. If I scroll up here, I've got my area right before I took the derivative. So I've got my area here. Let me go ahead and grab it. And let's go ahead and bring it down with us. So I wanna put the value of my radius in wherever I see an R in this equation. Now I could certainly do this with a calculator, but Desmos makes really quick work of that. Let me go ahead and move over into Desmos and let's put this guy in. Desmos makes really easy work of evaluating this. I'm gonna go ahead and type in A of R for my area, and then I'm gonna type in the value. Next, we're gonna ask Desmos to evaluate this area at our 32 divided by pi four. So I'm gonna type in A of 32 slash, so divided by pi plus four, and we get our total area. So our final area is approximately 71.69 square feet. I hope this was helpful. Do take a look at the next video that I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching.